Today we're going to work on a patriotic design for the 4th of July. So I'm starting out using a Mexican beach pebble, it's nice and smooth, and I'm taking a white chalk pencil and writing the letters USA on the rock. And then I'm going around with the chalk pencil and thickening up each of the letters, so kind of outlining on both sides of my original letters to make them nice and wide. If you need to, you can rub off the chalk pencil from the rock, that's why I love using the chalk pencil, or you can just keep making the lines and it's not really going to hurt um, because it'll get covered up from our design. Now to start out, I'm going to take some nail dotting tools and I'm going to use kind of a larger tip and I'm going to take red paint and add red dots kind of scattered all over the bottom of each letter. So these letters are going to be striped with red, white, and blue. So I'm adding the red to kind of give myself a line of where the red will stop and the white will begin. So just kind of random dots, large dots, you can dot until the paint disappears, which makes it you know, go from large to small dots, whatever works. Then I'm gonna come back through and do the exact same thing with white and blue. So I'm starting with that larger dotting tool and getting some larger dots on here to give some shape to the letters. And you can see how the chalk pencil is kind of disappearing and our letters are starting to form. You'll have to forgive my lighting in this video, it's not my usual bright lights because this video was filmed in quarantine. So Sammy and I both ended up with COVID. I had it first and then he was like a day or two after me. So we, we spent a total of 11 days in the room and so this was done by sunlight, the old fashioned way. But I think it gives you the gist of the design. Now that we've got a little bit of all three colors on the design, I'm coming back with a smaller dotting tool and I'm starting with the white this time because I didn't want to stick my hand in the dots. I figured I could work from the, the middle to the outsides of the letters. But I'm filling in some of that empty space with a smaller dotting tool and then I will do the same thing with the red and the blue again. I usually like to try and make quite a few red, white, and blue design rocks so that I can take them on our annual 4th of July trip back home to Bridgeport, California. I've been in Bridgeport for the 4th of July for almost every year of my life. COVID kind of got in the way there and messed up a couple of years, but when I was a kid, it was kind of like a miniature family reunion. Everybody came back to Bridgeport to kind of gather, and it was always so neat to see all of our family. And so there's some diehard cousins of mine and some, some family that still continue the tradition, and I just love going there. It's a beautiful place, the air is fresh, and they have this great small town 4th of July celebration. So now I'm gonna get in here with my smallest dotting tool, it's the tiniest tip, and I'm just gonna fill in all of the empty spaces that I can see without making it solid. So just a bunch of dots, and one of the areas that I concentrate on with this small dotting tool is around the edges to make sure that the letters have nice crisp shape on the outside because I'm not gonna outline them with anything. I'm just using the dots to shape the letters. And the neat thing about this is when the resin gets on here, the colors are really gonna pop because the stone is gonna get pretty dark when the resin hits it, but then the letters really are gonna pop off. So I was a little worried about the blue that I chose because it, it was kind of dull looking at this stage of the game, but when resin gets on it, it's gonna help it pop. And this design is very much like the rainbow heart that I had a couple weeks ago. And so you could do this with hearts, any kind of shape you could imagine, the letters. I decided to do the letters because that's something kind of different and I made the stripes go a different way. But this is a great way to get your feet wet with dotting if you don't like 
having to do perfect intricate patterns this doesn't have to be perfect it's not meant to be perfect so you just get in there with the dotting tools and you fill in the space Now to get rid of what's left of those chalk lines, I'm just gonna take a dry paper towel and just rub over the dots once they're dry. Make sure the dots are dry before you do this or you might end up smudging them, but it, it will remove any remainders of that chalk pencil around the edges. And then we're gonna add some resin and look at how those colors pop. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a fun idea for a patriotic 4th of July rock. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future uploads. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I'll see you next time.